Hey everyone, and welcome back to Optimizing RPG. Uh, this is part 18, I believe, of the series. Um, I'm going to be showing you a, another um, short um, score checkpoint. This will be another first one, and this will be from 2016 Year of RPG, a contest compilation. Um, I like to show the very first score points of a lot of these holds, um, largely because they're short um, and also because sometimes you optimize them differently from when you're playing like long term. Um, so this entry is Perfect Cherry Blossom by Nunta, uh, it's pretty good. I think this is a Tuhu reference, or is it Tauhu? I don't know how you're meant to pronounce it. Um, sorry if I got that wrong. Although the reference is fairly abstract, um, it's not directly obvious unless you know, I guess. Um, so the gimmick here, as it says here, each cherry blossom you collect increases the multiplier by 20%, so this times one. Uh, when you pick up one of these things here, um, it will go up by 0.2, so 1.2, 1.4. Uh, now you don't see that here, so as you can see I've picked it up, um, it still shows times one, but everything the multiplier effect has gone up, so this has gone up by 40 HP for a large health potion. Uh, the small health potions have gone up by 10 HP. Um, and very sadly, the Grackle Gates have also gone up by two Grackles each. Uh, it is worth noting that the stat gems also increase, however, they round down, and that means that we won't actually see these increase the amount of stats they give you until they um, you get five of them, and this goes up to times two. Uh, so, what we need to do. Um, we really want the multiply increases as soon as possible. Obviously they give us more health, they give us um, more stats ideally. Um, but, um, you know, it would be nice to hold off on picking up the stats as well for as long as possible. So how many of these do we want to pick up? Uh, some multiple of five would be nice for the stats. Uh, let's see how many that there are. So in this room there's one, two, three, four, five and six. Um, in this room here, note we can only reach this section because uh, there are no green keys. The green key, the one you pick up, is actually the score checkpoint, so for this um, it won't matter. Uh, there are two in this room, so a total of eight so far. And then there's this room, there is another three. Um, it is worth noting that this room has a brain in it. Uh, monsters in this room are very significantly more expensive than in the other room, um, so we'll probably be considering these ones last. Um, so there's a total of 11, that means that we can pick up 10 out of the 11 and get the stats to their maximum value, um, which would be really nice. Um, this is, you know, fairly short, there's only really three and a half rooms basically, this is barely a room, this one. Um, and, uh, what was I trying to say? Um, yeah, so, you know, you don't take that much damage from enemies, so scoring-wise, you know, the stats are worth quite a lot. So we'd really like to maximise them if we can at all do that. So we're going to be ideally looking for either 5, uh, which you can get in this room fairly easily, um, or 10 of these cherry blossoms before we go picking up any stats at all. Um, so are there any that we don't want to pick up? Well, in this room... You know, there's at least five that are very easy. There's one here that's behind a grackle gate or a yellow door. Now, yellow keys are also, like, very good for scoring. Um, really, we don't want to open them at all if we can. Um, and there are two yellow doors in this room that can be skipped by opening grackle gates. This one's got the multiplier in it. Um, I re re really want to open this, like, as soon as possible uh, because these increase in value as well. So, like, this is, like, a high-priority grackle gate. Um, this one in this room is quite interesting. Uh, you can open a Grackle Gate, uh, kill two Wraithwings. There is also this Evil Eye. Unfortunately, if you haven't picked up any stats yet, uh, the Evil Eye is very, very expensive. Um, this is an outrageous amount of health. And if we want to be looking at, you know, which of these we're picking up before we take any stats, then this is pretty bad. Um, in addition to that, Grackle Gates are kind of at a premium as well. Um, so, you know, the ones that skip yellow doors are really nice. Uh, there's also one here that actually has full resources behind it. Um, so, you know, these two and this Grackle Gate um, really seem quite nice. So this one, you know, it's technically optional, so it seems pretty bad. It's quite hard to farm up Grackles before we've actually gained any stats as well. It is worth noting. Um, 
you know, the monsters will drop quite significantly when we pick up the stats. We don't really want to be fighting stuff um, to farm up Greckles at their most expensive. So this one seems like a bust. But, you know, the other ones might be reasonable. In this room, it's worth noting that the only cherry blossoms, even though stuff is brained, there's two roaches that you have to fight. But the other ones are picked up basically by just taking damage and that actually doesn't really get any cheaper going along um, so that's good so that means that the stat requirement of actually picking up these cherry blossoms is also quite low yeah you can reduce the value you know the damage taken by these if you get some stats but it's not that much and then in this room you know where um okay so in this one they're basically that one's opened by a door and we start with the key so it's fine um, but in this one here, you know, all of the enemies are fairly weak, basically. So it seems reasonable that we can get all 10 cherry blossoms um, to get the stats up before we need to pick any up. So that would be great. So what to do first of all? Well, we barely have any health to start with. You know, we can like, fight a rope. Um, but then at that point, we basically must make a diversion for HP. We can't actually fight anything else at that point. The question is, how many of these do we want to pick up before we go for any health? Well, realistically, there's only three um, before we actually pick it up. There's the one behind this door, and then there's these two here. Uh, it's just too expensive to pick up anything else, anywhere else, otherwise. Um, so we could get the multiplier all the way up to 1.6. But it is also worth noting that we want to be very careful as well for this Greckle Gate as well. We don't really want to be picking up too many of these because it will start to make this Greckle Gate quite expensive. So what we should do is we should look at, well, you know, what is involved in actually getting to 10 Greckles? Well, these are in the way of two blossoms, so these would be great to kill. So that's another five Greckles between them, which take me to seven. And then you can kill either a Wraithwing at 112 or two Roaches at 100 in total um, to get basically to the last one that you need. Um, problem with that is that if we haven't picked up anything that we only have 200 health and it's actually more expensive than that um, in order to do that. Now two of these Roaches are basically, you know, they immediately get the cost back but um, really, like if we pick up some of these cherry blossoms as well, the, the potions get a bit better. Um, and we're missing out a lot of health by not picking this up. It is worth noting that all of the roaches and wraithwings here that are actually behind resources that we might want early, you know, both wraithwings are blocking cherry blossoms. There's a roach blocking this. Um, there's a roach blocking this. That takes us to 14 greckles. If we were to kill all of that stuff, um, this roach here, he gives us two Greckles if we kill him, um, but he costs 50. And if we were to um, pick up the third um, Cherry Blossom, you know, that would add 40 to this. But it would then cost 50 to kill him to get the Greckles that we need to open this door. So that's actually worse off. Um, and then, of course, later on in the hold, um, or in this checkpoint, you know, we'll be down two Greckles as well. So, in the end, 14 cost Greckle Gate is basically ideal. Um, it sort of helps maximise the value of this potion while also not losing health to like basically fighting this guy um, and raising the cost of this anymore. And it turns out that that health is also just enough that we need to actually fight all of the monsters that we need to as well. So, we are going to fight all of these. Well, I said it was enough health. It's actually not quite enough health. And um, we do have to pick up one of these potions to continue. This one, worth noting, is actually blocking the way to a cherry blossom. So we're going to pick up this one. And then we're going to kill our final roach friend. And with that, we now have enough grackles to get this cherry blossom. And now we can consider picking up all of the others as well. So we want to go for the freebies first and well. Whoops. This one here is basically free. Um, it is worth spending the yellow key because the amount of extra stats that we're going to be getting um, vastly strips the value of that key, uh, as well as the health in the short term. Uh, it is worth noting before we need to pick up any more health, we can get this. However, we do need a bit more health before we um, get the next one, so we're going to pick up that potion now, um, just out of necessity, and now we're going to get hit by these guys. 
And there we go, so that's brought the multiplier to um, 2.4. So where to next? Well, the only ones now are the three in this room. Um, and to get anywhere at all, we're going to need more health than what we currently have. You know, picking up this is 54 times 2. Um, killing any roach is 150. Um, so we simply need more health. And that's another reason why it was important that we killed the roaches. Blocking the health as well. So killing those gives us enough health to carry on. Um, in terms of what to do next, um, we are going to need more HP. This roach also happens to be blocking the way to more health potions. So that'll allow us to keep going, um, taking these health potions. So this guy's really important. We really don't want to be like killing these wraith wings at all if we can help it. Um, these guys are going to get a lot cheaper when we start getting stats. So, uh, you know, this, this health doesn't feel great. Um, the only other place to get health is basically this, which is profitable, and we do have a key that is reasonable to pick up because we're just taking damage. Um, but at the moment we don't have to, we have to kill this roach anyway, and he's blocking the way to HP, um, which is sort of equivalent So, to like killing the right things, so we're going to take that. Um, we do have to take that because it is just a little bit too much health to keep going. Um, whoops. And then... Um, unfortunately, this guy's going to be dealing 108 damage. We have only 106, so uh, we do have to pick up another health potion to keep going. But that gets us most of the way there. The last one, and this is more expensive um, than taking that one, which is why I've left it till later. Um, this roach, we just need a bit more health. And we have that last final option available to us that doesn't actually involve any fighting, and that is to pick this up. We still have enough health to do this, so we're going to go for the last non-fighting option, and that's just because um, fighting anything else is just simply way more expensive now than it's going to be soon. And to be fair, we're going to need more HP when we come to like pick up these gems because they're just you know going to be taking damage in fights. So getting a nice big boost of health right now is actually pretty reasonable. And by doing that, we've now achieved the coveted times three multiplier. That's great because that means that the stat gems for this score point are as valuable as they're ever going to be. So there's no reason to delay picking them up. This one is free. And this one is free. Uh, here's an attack gem. Uh, it doesn't involve fighting to pick it up, so that's pretty good. But we do take some damage. And it is worth noting that there is another defense gem over here, where again, we don't actually have to do any fighting, but we do take damage. So we're going to take that one first. Um, the final defense gem does involve a fight, and he is going to get cheaper, that roach, if we pick up attack. So we should pick up the attack that doesn't require any fighting first. So first of all, this one is by far the easiest. Um, you'll see that, that picking that up made a massive difference to all of these in the room, like just very substantial. Uh, just getting some attack at all is very good for evil eyes. Um, this roach still going to get cheaper if we get more attack, that's fine. There is another attack gem that we can take, this one. Um, there we go. And even now, Roach still gets cheaper by picking up more attack. Well, there is one more gem that doesn't actually involve any fighting. Um, in fact, these are the only two gems that actually involve any fighting at all. Um, now, at this point, the Roach does not get any cheaper. Um, the Wraithwing cannot be made any cheaper either, except through defense. So that makes it clear that we should get the defense first. And then we get to kill the Wraithwing. And there we go. So we've picked up all of the stats. This is the maximum stats you can possibly get at this stage. And now we're at a state where we can reasonably expect to start fighting things. So there's one thing left that we've got to consider, and that is this Cherry Blossom. So we actually have enough that we can straight away um, open it up. Um, we could take it, and we still also have enough HP left over that we could start picking up like this health potion as well. So is there any reason why we wouldn't want to pick this up straight away? Well, the main reason why is the cost of the Greckle Gates. Um, if we pick this up, there are two more Greckle Gates that we want to open, which is this one and this one, and they're going to go up by two Greckles each. And is that a problem? Well, it's going to take right now 
60 grackles in order to open both of these. And what sort of grackles are we going to get? You know, can we open both of these grackle gates before we basically need to start taking more HP? Um, well, as you can see, we absolutely need more HP right now. Um, you know, even if we didn't kill that Wraithwing, um, 18 HP, you know, right? we have to pick up some. Um, and there is this available. Uh, another alternative, actually, instead of killing the eye, um, is that we could kill this one and we could get this here. Um, so, what does it take to get to 60 Grackles? Let's count. Um, we should consider every enemy that we're going to be killing anyway because they're in the way of stuff. So we have these two Wraith Wings and that one as well. Whoops, um, this one here. Um, he's a bit more expensive, but you know, they make another 9, which brings us to 18. There is also this Roach who's free, I'm going to kill now. And that will take us to 20 Grackles. So at that point, the only other enemy that we can fight are Evil Eyes, and they each give us 5 Grackles each. So there's 40 more Grackles to gain through Evil Eyes. Well, this one is required. Um, one of these is required. This one is required. And this one is required. So half of them, four of them, are in the way of stuff. And then we have like another four that we can kill from behind, potentially, um, in order to get the rest of the way. It is worth thinking that those four um, that we kill initially is enough to take us to 30 Greckles. Um, is this one worth it? There is 360 HP here right now. Or 320, excuse me. Um, an evil eye killed from behind costs 30, so we could kill 10 evil eyes, um, and it would be worth it to do this. Uh, so it is absolutely worth killing, like, six more evil eyes, like, in order to um, make this free, or to make this available. In fact, we actually go above 30 grackles, killing everything else that's required, so it's even less than that. Like, we only have to kill, like, four evil eyes or something so it's definitely worth opening this and just farming money from evil eyes um, the problem is is what are we going to do for health you know how much is that going to cost so if we take this right now this is effectively we're missing out on 40 hp worth of value by basically not picking it up with this um, if we take that we will absolutely have enough health um, to kill everything that we need to but you know can we do better well the other alternative is that we've got both of these um if we pick up both of these at like 150 uh, we're missing out on 10 each which is a loss of 20 but we do basically have 300 hp to play with to kill everything that we need um it is worth noting you know we can open the doors but not pick up the health inside before we like pick this up problem is is that 300 hp these two enemies on their own are already eating up like the vast majority of that on its own um, and sadly it will turn out that that isn't quite enough HP um, so it would have only been a loss of 20 but um, we are actually just about to run out um, just before we do it we basically barely run out of health I don't need to play it out I could play it out to show you um, but there will be just not enough so what else can we do? Uh, can we do any better than that? Um, well, the next thing to consider is, okay, what if we don't open both of these doors at um, 30 Greckles? You know, what if we're willing to spend more? So let's say we killed another Evil Eye. Um, that gives us five Greckles. It costs us 30 HP. Um, but we could totally open both. It gives enough Greckles to open both of these when they cost 32 instead of 30. Um, and losing 30 HP is certainly not worse than, um, you know, missing out on 40 off of this. So that's another consideration that we can do. You know, we just pick this up straight away and we take all of the remaining potions for their maximum value. Um, but can we do even better than that? Well... If we want more Greckles, there are these Wraithwings. They only cost 16, and they give us three each. Um, basically, you know, killing both of these costs 32, which is just a little bit more expensive than killing one of these. So we can sort of almost, like, you know, get a half a value cost um, for just enough Greckles. You know, it'll only cost us 16 if we can... Um, get away with only opening one of these doors when it costs 30. 
um, instead of 32. Now, we are going to have to pick up some health somewhere if we do that. And, you know, really like a bare minimum, we would have to pick this up. So if we pick this up right now, um, you know, some potion, well, we could pick this up at max value, but if we take this, you know, we're missing out on 10 health. However, if we can get the remaining Greckles that we need, which is really not that much, two evil eye kills that we can, um, we can open one of these doors, probably this one, um, for 30, and then pick up the multiplier, and all it will mean is that we have to add this Wraithing as well for 16, and that's a total cost of 26. Um, that is cheaper than killing, like, one more evil eye, um, which would have cost 30. So, in the end, we actually do save a little bit of health by... Um, killing one Wraith Wing um, and missing out on maximum HP for this and opening one door as it costs 30. So we're now going to just kill more Evil Eyes. Let's kill this one. And that gives us enough Greckles to open this door. And now we can pick up this. And now we are free. We've hit the maximum multiplier, so we are free to just pick up everything. Um, sure, let's just do that while we're here. I know I need to kill you. Put down the balance and you. And you as well. These guys were all fought from behind, so they're a little bit cheaper. Uh, your maximum value, you are as well. I can just walk into that. And you need to be killed as well. So that's taken us to 30 Greckles. Again, unfortunately not enough right now. Um, would have been if we didn't have to take the multiplier early, but we can make up that last remaining health by killing you for 16. And by doing that, we take this last one. And we end up with 1,930 HP, maximum stats, two yellow keys, and this one green key. And that takes us to the, um, the best score that I'm aware of for this, and the best HP value. And I think that will be perfect. I, you never know with these whether or not you've actually reached the, um, the maximum until basically someone beats you. Um, but it seems very, very hard to actually um, save any more health off of this um, or, you know, get any more score from anywhere um, because it's just so small, you know, th there's not really that many options and we've sort of exhausted them all here at this point. Um, yeah, this one's kind of interesting, you know, it's sort of the multiplier thing makes you wait um, on picking up stats and it just so happens that there's just enough HP to make it that you can actually go for maximum stats as well. Um, out of this. Uh, I haven't really optimised the remaining um, second section yet, so I'm not sure if the next video that I do will be the um, the second score point on this. Um, it is worth noting that because there are more cherry blossoms added, um, of course the value of all these stats and health that you leave over here continue to rise. So what that means is you can actually start doing things like, say, picking up an attack gem when it's only giving you plus two instead of plus three. Um, but then one of the other attack gems, you know, will eventually be worth plus four. So you actually, you know, you don't, you don't lose out in value on the first area by like taking stats early. And like taking two attack would make like wraith wings and roaches like a lot cheaper. So that actually might be worth doing, you know. Um, but I haven't really assessed it yet, so we will see. Um, but yeah, anyway, that was uh, this score point. Um, I hope it was interesting. The um, the whole trade-off with Greckles is quite interesting. Um, the fact that you've got this really cheap enemy, you can just farm for a bit more Greckles means, you know, you can take a multiplier a little bit earlier or later um, than you otherwise would. Um, and, you know, HP concerns as well, that you sort of end up with as well. Uh, it is worth noting that if you don't do this little optimization with the Wraithwing, you know, you... you it saves you so little health that it actually doesn't matter for this um, score checkpoint, you know, 1920. And if you look on the leaderboard, the score that I have has slightly less HP than this. It was just an earlier draft. I lost like six HP because 
I think I killed both of these. It didn't even need to be six HP. I could have, it would have been cheaper to just kill an evil eye instead of both of those. Um, effectively, you know, you save four HP by minus ten and minus sixteen instead of killing one of these for minus thirty. Um, but you know, little things they they might add up these sorts of micro optimizations. Um, if you were to carry this optimization through to a later part or whatever, um, but yeah, little little tricky bits here. Um, certainly interesting. It shakes up the ordering of how you do stuff. Anyway, I hope that was interesting. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>